all new 93.9 The Beat and the new home of Sam and Ryan in the morning. It's so crazy, man. Suicide, right? This song, uh, Sad, from XXX Attention. It's a huge song. The uh, 1-800 song from Logic from last year, huge song. 13 Reasons, huge show. It seems like this whole suicide thing, it's like, it's, it's the thing. Is suicide the thing? Like, what what are we saying out there? Like, uh, people singing along the suicide lyrics. You're watching the suicide shows. Well, like- what was first? 13 Reasons or 1-800? Well, which came first? But one of those, like, kicked it off. And then a label will look at it and go, millions of numbers. Like, you can't help it. People are buying this, you know. So it's like it's relating on one level and just on a human level. And then the next level is they're buying all this stuff. They're watching 13 Reasons. They're buying. I mean, if you see that first episode of Rapture on Netflix, uh, and it's, a, you know, of so course, lo- the, Logic yeah. is the guest. I mean, you can just see he's like the Pied Piper of this generation. <laughs> it's like just millions of kids coming out of the woodworks. And he was just like, yeah, there was a whole group of humans that weren't being talked to with the current state of uh, pop music. And so he just said, I just seemed to scratch that itch. I was filling that void. And. You know, you watch him in concert. Like I said, it seems like a Tony Robbins concert where he's like a motivational speaker, literally. And he's talking about real issues. And it's not just out there with the roly, roly, roly. <laughs> you know, he's not just out there talking about bling, bling and, and, and women. It's like he's talking about real issues. So it's like, a, you know, it did seem to be like a void in the demographic, right? Yeah, so what's the deal? Like uh, the younger, younger demographic out there? Like, are you having suicidal thoughts? Are you having problems? Dude, I think that's always been an issue. Just just talk to Sam and Ryan. That's all you got to do is talk to Sam and Ryan and tell us what's wrong. What's on your mind? What's the problem? And we can address it and we can make you uh, feel better and move forward. You know, what's the issue? Well, I, I was never sui- I never had suicidal thoughts. I was never suicidal. Huh. It didn't even cross my mind. I always was. See, it's like 50-50. <laughs> You just, always were suicidal. Like for most of my life, yeah. What was the problem? I don't think it's any, one, the, I don't think it's any one problem. I think if you, you just, is there's a chance that you are born, you open your eyes, the mock appeal wipes out, and you go, eh, who made this stupid game? I just think that was a thought in my brain. I was like, really, Mom? Dad? I looked at them the whole time, I was rolling my eyes, like, Mom, Dad, really? This planet? You idiots? That's just my, that was my first thought. And I've had that thought for most of my life. And how, I, how old are you when you first had that thought? I mean, as young as I can remember. I just remember thinking, this is a dumb place. Like a what, stupid se- game. Like, like seven years as old? As soon as, like, well, seven is literally when scientists say the brain starts to be able to process abstract thoughts. So philosophical thoughts start to come in right around seven. Like, just thoughts of, like, where are we? What is this place? What is the game now? What do we have to do? What do we have to avoid? Wait, that can happen here? What do you mean, tiny microscopic bacteria? They get what? And then you can wear? It's just uh, that's when it started. I mean, so, and probably earlier, but I'm just saying that's a nice seven is an interesting place. That's when they start wow. to say, wow. You know, that's when they start to go, huh, where, what is this thing? I want to know is there anybody out there? Ryan just spoke some words. Like, is he talking to you? Do you feel the same way Ryan felt his whole life? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like, the, I mean, look, 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 if you're not going to, if you're not going to actually commit suicide you, and you're going to live your life, which I decided to, then you just start, like, you just, look, man, I just joined the, like everybody else, like, get your, get your money, get your rent, pay for your own life and just, you know, have a good time, relax. If you're, we're all going to die soon anyway, kind of attitude. But I don't think it's like unintelligent or stupid to question it. I, I think it's a, a very relatable. That's why in that song... 1-800, who can relate? And I think he's thinking, like, a lot of people. A lot of people can relate. A lot of people can relate. Are you part of the lot of people? Give Sam and Ryan a call. Man, you just you just laid down some heavy stuff I mean, on the radio. You revealed you, something that nobody knew about Hawaiian Ryan. Well, hey, ask the questions. I will answer. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you the truth. SNR coming up next. You can win another $1,000. But uh, call in, man. You feel like HR? You feel like logic? You feel like, come on, I want to hear from you. How do you feel about that? You know, I think it's like, yeah. You reveal I'm these... gl- I mean, I'm kind of like, yeah, growing up, it was way tough to talk about this. And you were anytime you talked about it, and adults would just shut you down. It's selfish. It's a bad thought to have. It's negative. Stop thinking like that. Yeah. You know, it's like, come on. I just tell you, you have so much to look forward to, all this stuff. But that, you know, there's just a lot of tough questions that aren't answered by it. But you have talent. But you should be happy. You live in Hawaii. Like, that doesn't stop the fact that you're in a human body that doesn't feel great all the time, you know? Hi, good morning. What's up? Hey, uh, somewhat kind of feel the same. You feel like Hawaiian Ryan? Yeah, just like 
what, we grow up in this world, what, then we get old, got to work, pay bills. Is that, like, really life, you know? Yeah, what, yeah. What's the meaning of it? Why, why, why torture us with bills and life when we can just live in Nirvana, you know? You know, it's interesting. I've been uh, interviewing a lot of people for this, uh, you know, um, movie that I'm making about thir the 38 minutes, the missile scare. And, yeah, it's like a lot of people in that moment ask those questions even stronger, right? Like, wait, what is the point? <laughs> what have I been do doing this whole time? It could have all ended in that 38 minutes. And it's like it makes you think, what? What am I doing? What is the point? And so how yeah, long? Like so are like you we grow up and what about these kids you know all these people get cancer like what's the point of their life and like like really we come into a world where we have these disasters we have these you know plagues we have these yeah. bills we have these troubles like like what, what what is the point so are you are you suicidal not suicidal i'm just making i'm just living with it do you you're living with suicidal thoughts are you living like are you just living with uh, the thought of like what's the point every day like, what's the point every day? So I'm just living through it, but I'm not suicidal. I'm just like, ah, I'm already in this world. Just got to make do. Oh, man, that's not a good mindset to have. Well, look, that it starts off like that, but then you can get better and better at that. Like, for, I'm, look, I'm having the best time in my life right now by far. Like, I'm enjoying my life, but I don't ever lose these practical thoughts that this guy and I have been talking about. That it is true. We do live in a planet that's, you know, mostly water and rock spinning around in a dark space like a thousand miles per hour. And there's disasters, disease. Of course, there's, I mean, you can't just deny or ignore those things because yeah. you want to keep positive. I mean, those yeah, things exist, I, I and they're scary. You know, I can't deny it, but yeah. just kind of make do with it. And I do have fun, but still, yeah. like he said, you know, you still think about it. It's always there, you know? It's always there, correct. Who can relate? That's why. That's I, think, why. I think most people can. I mean, and like, you know, and again, like, it doesn't mean that you don't also, every day you wake up, I think about who, you know, whose life can you help, right? So that's what we like to concentrate on. How can my waking up today and doing stuff in life help someone else out of their troubles or feeling bad? I love to wake up in the morning. We talk about stuff and help people process, make some jokes, play some music, and then go on to the day. Whatever you're doing, you want to try to help take away people's suffering. But at the end, it feels like, a lot of times, doesn't it feel like you're pouring water? water out of a boat that has a million holes in it who doesn't feel like that sometimes it doesn't feel like that uh i don't think it'll be like that i feel like uh you know you talking about it you're making a difference and i don't feel like uh i feel like you help you're helping more than you're not so uh, i mean i don't feel like the, the, the ship is sinking uh but well I, I, it's like this it's like a gray's anatomy line i once <laughs> i remember uh, if you're not angry, you're not paying attention. <laughs> I mean, it's like even when my life is going great, I look around the world and I see, wow, how, you know, how come I get to live it like this? And they don't, they have all these things. They, they don't have that. They don't have the water. They don't have the things. They don't have the whatever it is. I mean, it's just like, hey, it's a, it's a balance. You want to see the world for as, as it is, and then you want to help out. But, you know, I see both. I see both sides. Well, you did donate spam about a month ago. You so see what I'm was, saying? That That's a, a little deal. piece. Just a little piece. <laughs> that was a big deal. I gave you some sodium nitrate. That wasn't good, but, you know. 93.9 The Beat, Hawaii's number one hit music station. It's the Sam and Ryan Show. Getting kind of deep on the radio this morning, man. A few minutes ago, Ryan told you about his uh, suicidal thoughts he had at seven years old. Seven years old. And it's crazy you said seven years old because uh, was it a couple of weeks ago? Demi Lovato was talking about she had suicidal thoughts at age seven. She was like, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I think she was talking to uh, Dr. Phil. I think she was talking about this. And she's been like, she had like this battle of uh, depression. She said she had uh, suicidal thoughts at age seven. Mm. Uh, she just celebrated six years of sobriety. Uh, she stopped doing the drugs and all that. Mm. But you know, when I first heard at seven years old, you can have those thoughts at seven years old. It kind of blew my mind away. Uh, but here's a clip of Demi Lovato talking about this. Ryan had suicidal thoughts at seven. So did Demi Lovato. I have experienced things that I have not talked about and that I don't know if I ever will talk about. But at seven, I knew that if I were to take my own life, that the pain would end. I was struggling with, with depression, my bipolar disorder. Um, I turned to cutting and there was a while there where my mom was afraid to wake me up in the mornings because she didn't know if she opened the door if I would be alive or not. And because every time I cut, it got deeper and deeper. Demi Lovato. Who would have thought Demi Lovato? You know, she's always smiling, appears to be have a great personality. 
HR is like hilarious coming. You don't know what's behind the what you see on TV, what you hear on the radio. You don't know what's what's going on behind the scenes. I mean, my assessment is I think most people have had those thoughts at one time or another in their life. I just think that. You know, it's, uh, and you know, we've been talking about the sudden, like, sort of spike in 1 800, that song, 13 Reasons Why, this other song we just played, what was it called? The, uh, oh, the, the yeah. sad, sad. Right, right. So, well, even like a couple weeks ago, the, the Rock was talking about the, the depression he right. went through. D I, DeMar DeRozan from the Raptors a couple of weeks ago. I think had... it's like anything else. It's like a revolution, right? It starts off with a few brave people saying, I'm going to talk about it even if it's not popular. Even if it's not accepted, even if it gets rejected, and then someone else comes out, and then another song comes out, then a Netflix thing comes out, and I think right now it's like, so I don't think it's a new thing. I think it's just being, it's a little bit more okay to talk about, even with the hashtag Me Too movement, right? It wasn't okay to, to talk about before, but now it's like, oh, other people are coming forward. Maybe you're more brave to come forward and to talk about your experiences, what happened there, too. Okay, so let's whatever, say. Uh, whatever it is. So let's say uh, a, a kid comes up to you and tells you, hey, man, I'm having these thoughts. How can you help me? Being a guy that's had these thoughts before and you've had it your whole life. So what's your message to, like, let's say a kid that comes up to you, hey, Ryan, I'm having these thoughts. I know you've had these thoughts. How can I get out of this rut? I mean, look, I just think, you know, it's like I've, I've been through so many things to, to get to the place I'm at now. But after reading about the I got obsessed about reading about the brain for a while. You know, it's like uh, and, and thinking about when I wake up in the morning and no matter what I do, I'm, your body and your brain is like the black and white idea is that it's trying to feel better. It's trying to feel good. And so it's, it's just this weird balance of like no matter how much truth I want to try to process, nowadays when I wake up, I want to process that truth in a good mood, in a happy state of mind. And so that's just the first thing I want to do is I'm monitoring that. I'm monitoring what is your mood like? What are you feeling like? And if you start to go too low on that stuff, then even that you just think I'm just processing truth, I'm just thinking thoughts. No, you're not. You're feeding yourself these horrible feelings and this cortisol, the stress, right? So first thing I'm telling a kid is like, how, monitor that. Feel, Don't just sit around and think for hours and just getting yourself down and down and down. It's like, think of yourself as a physical body first. And then... You know what I mean? Treat yourself. I mean, don't get, do things in your life that make you happy while you process these very deep thoughts. Don't just process the thoughts. And that, for me, that was a huge beginning. I don't ever just sit around and go, let myself get down. Let myself get too low, get to breast, because I recognize, wait a minute, you just need water. You need exercise. You need sun. Right, you right. need friends. You need, I mean, it's like you, got, you can't just process it in this dark space, because then that's delusional. You're not really processing the truth in its full Glory, you know what I mean. So that's a first. That's just a. That's a step one. Step one. I mean, there's a lot of steps to get out of this. To be honest, but, but that's step number one. That's step number one. If you guys got something to say, two nine six nine three nine zero. Beat lines are wide open. Uh, hi, good morning. What's up? Welcome to the show. Hey, how's it going? What up? So, in regards to this suicidal, um, it's been a me. I I, I learned how to deal with it. Uh, when I was homeless, when I was younger, I feel like my whole life was over. Then I had a strong support system with my friends and family. Then yes. after that, I joined the military. In the military during deployment, uh, there was a time in my deployment that I didn't even want to come back home. Right. I wanted to die out there. Why is there Why is there so much depression and the suicide in the military? That's actually a big problem, right? Suicides in the military is like a growing number every year. Yes. It's because um, with a lot of deployments... You you get close to to your to your friends and they're like your family like your brothers, and when you watch your family member die next to you, and you got to put them in a body bag, it it messes with your head every day, it, and then you survive, and then you get this survivor's remorse, and it's like the worst thing ever. All I can say to anybody that's out there. That wants to commit suicide, it's not worth it, man. At the end of the day, what I learned how to do is look back at my day and don't concentrate on anything that happened bad. Just write down anything that happened good, and I can guarantee you that you'll write down more good things than you, than you did bad things, and, and it'll make you feel better. It's, it's like that old saying, focus on the positive, right? Focus on the positive. Well, you know, I definitely think it's a balance. And thank you so much for calling and sharing your experience, Sora. This is amazing. I mean, I, but I think it's this balance where it's like, you know, keeping 
everything in your mind that's truthful and realistic, even if it's not that positive. But like I just said, you can't camp out there for too long. No, you can't. We're just a bag of water, folks. We're 70% water. You have to attend to those physiological, practical needs first. And you're right. Having positive thoughts, thinking about things that make you happy, that's like water and oxygen to us. We need that. But at the same time, I don't want to camp out too long in there and just like live in a unicorn, rainbow-lived fantasy where everything's perfect either. So for me, I think it's a balance. It's like you have to know what happened that didn't go right. You have to know reality and stuff that's dark, but you can't camp out there. Yes, I agree with you. All All I can say is for anybody that's out there listening, it's not worth it, man. It's definitely not worth it because at the end of the day, you... You have to think about your loved ones who that that are affected afterwards. You know, they they're suffering for your loss. So if you're out there, don't don't do it. Talk to somebody, call somebody, and, and just talk to them about your problems. And don't don't be by yourself. That's all I could. That's my best advice that I could give you. Right on, brother. Well, dude, thanks for the call. Really appreciate it, my man. No problem. Have a good one. One eight hundred two seven three eight two five five. 93 now the beat hoist number one hit music station block boy and drake it's look alive on the sam and ryan show it's either a suicide song or look alive you know what i'm saying there's no in between suicide alive hr welcome to the show and in fact that's literally the theme in the song 1-800 whatever right? he, he starts off wanting to die and then by the end i don't want to die <laughs> he figured it out in three minutes and 30 seconds folks hi good morning what's up what's up Hey, um, I've been listening to the station this morning, and you were talking about uh, suicide. I was wondering, how can I get uh, the last couple hours and record that? Because it's such an important information. I think you guys had a really great uh, conversation going on between the two uh, DJs. Thank you. You know what? Actually, I'm going to go home today, and I'll I'll, uh, get some off of the... You know, I'll grab some of it off, and I'll put it up on our YouTube and Instagram, and I'll, I'll put it up on our Facebook page, at Sam Ryan Show. Okay. Yeah, that was great conversation. Um, and relating all of that stuff to the music that's being played now, and, and then, uh, you know, the positive thoughts and the negative thoughts and how you get up in the morning, and all that stuff. That's great, great, great uh, advice and information. Well, thank you so much. You'll put it up on the Facebook page. Um, yeah, at, our, at Sam and Ryan Show on Facebook. I'll put it up. On a, I'll, I'll make it into a YouTube and I'll put it up there because that's what I was feeling too when we're having. I'm like, dude, this is like a rare and wonderful discussion. I think we're all having, and it's, it's difficult to have. That's why. So I, I'm glad that you feel this way. But well, thank you for the call, man. We appreciate it. Uh, a lot of people are actually calling about this thing. I think HR, you, uh, you've uh, hit a lot of people in the chest with your truth. Your truth this morning. I'm just reflecting what's going on in society right now with the, you know, 13 Reasons Why, that Logic song. It seems like it's like a lot of people are talking about it. And like I said, I grew up in a world where you couldn't talk about it. So it's like, I appreciate that people are talking about stuff that's hard to talk about right now. You know, you know what it is? It's like guys don't want to talk about stuff in general. So that that's a big oh, factor. That's right? definitely true. Right. Yeah. If you look at the household, there's mom and dad, right? And if you have if the dad doesn't really say much, we don't talk much. Sure. I mean, I don't know what it's like. And that's that. been that way forever. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's more in the <laughs> in the Asian world, but definitely Asian fathers are like, don't talk about feelings. How dare you talk about feelings? Bottle it up inside, son. <laughs> Samurai. <laughs> I mean, that's everything. I, you, that's you, what I grew up with. You guys are the worst. No, totally. That's what I'm saying. You're, so. you're famous for bottling stuff up. That's the problem. You bottle all this stuff up, and one day you just explode. That's right. My dad is a math major. He's a computer programmer. Everything is like, this is black and white. No time for in between. Analyze feelings. Shut your mouth. This is what it is. Show up for work. Do your job. That's it. And, you know, so, like, I rebelled and became an English major, and I want to talk about all my feelings all the time. So you, know, like- you, you know what's crazy? Here's a, here's a crazy thought. Here's a crazy thing right here. Asians always bottle things up. They don't want to talk about it. They're also the ones that kill themselves with a samurai sword. It's it, weird. That's exactly right. That's why you have to talk about it. Otherwise, honey, cutty. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Honey, cutty, right inside. That's what I'm saying, man. We got to talk about this, folks. Talk about it. It's okay. Right, right. Get it out. The Sam and Ryan Show, 6 to 10 weekday mornings, 93.9 The Beat.